On this episode with Dan on the Street, Dan meets up with Crimson Rise's very own Lakshmi and Shanks Ravasankar. Next on Dan on the Street. We're about to meet Dan on the Street, yeah. D A N Dan on the Street, yeah. Talking anything with Dan on the Street, yeah. And joining us today from the Dayhab crew is Jake and Sarah, and also from Crimson Rise, Shanks and Lachney. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having us. Thank you for having us. So why don't you tell a little bit uh, to our viewers about what Crimson Rise is. Crimson Rise is a change in the paradigm of how you look at non-speaking autistics. Um, our lives changed when our son Tejas, who was a non-speaking person, up until a few years ago, he got access to Spelling to Communicate and we got to know him as if for the first time ever. We got to know who he is, what his interests are, what his passions are. And he forged strong relationships with three other young men, Nick Diamora, Christopher Poleo, and William Giacino. And together they inspired the founding of Crimson Rise because we learned that it wasn't just enough for them to be able to communicate with their loved ones and a few practitioners in their lives. Non-speakers go to dayhab programs, they go to recreational programs, they go swimming, they go bowling. And Crimson Rise was formed to create communication access and program design that linked in with whatever it was that they want to see in their lives. So that is what Crimson Rise is about. So that's a great story. It's incredible that you developed that program. Now, is that program available for any families with, with loved ones with, with autism? Absolutely. Um, they should reach out to us through www.crimsonrise.org and we'd be happy to talk to them. We offer a courtesy Zoom intake a meeting where they can figure out whether this is for them. Um, we're also partnered with the Grace Foundation of New York where we have had a very exciting venture that is about a year old. It's still in its infancy but it is profound and grand in its design and the outcomes that these young men are experiencing on a daily basis at Grace Foundation. It's great. We're also trying to <coughs> establish best practices so we are uh, associated with this uh, international uh, association for Spelling to Communicate, which lays down the, the standards and the methodologies and we try to um, kind of standardize with, with best practice as well. It really makes a dramatic difference when people who have never had the ability to uh, to have a voice for themselves, if you, if you enable them and give them the opportunity to communicate their, their thoughts and desires, I think it makes quite a profound difference to, to their lives and that's very rewarding. Tell us about your involvement with the Grace Foundation. When our young men um, who co-founded Crimson Rise um, wanted to change everything about their lives, um, Barbara Diamora, who's a co-founder at the Grace Foundation as well as at Crimson Rise, brought us together with Kathy Del Priori and Michael Lanza. And we sat together and we talked about what we wanted to do. And Grace was such a great partner for us. They have the pioneering spirit. They're very much growth oriented and they're ready to embrace change. And we found a wonderful partnership here at Grace. And we're so happy to be part of this program. Can you tell us about the Non-Speakers and Spellers program? The Non-Speakers and Spellers program is designed so that they can use this time in their lives for discovery, which means they get to pick areas that they want to study further. For example, they just did a whole um, exploration on American pop culture and its influence in American life and um, lifestyles. They are interested in collaborating with um, the cooking program. They're interested in the whole whole mind-body connection and they work out at the Evolve Gym where they have been really working on the things that challenge them which is regulation and their motor skills. 
and it's all designed by them. They are the bosses of this. Well, that about wraps it up for today's edition of Dan on the Street. Thank you to the Dayhab crew with Jake and Sarah. And again, thank you for all the great work that you're doing here in Staten Island. Shanks and Lachney from the Crimson Rise.